Hello everybody, this is Brent Coley and in this video I want to show you how to use the amazing free add-on for Google Sheets called Autocrat. If you use Google Forms and Google Sheets, Autocrat can completely take it to the next level. Uh, if you use Forms, you know that when you create a form and somebody submits that form, the information goes into a spreadsheet. So here's an example of a form that my teachers use to submit their weekly PLC meeting agendas. They tell me their grade level, the date, the location for the meeting, who's submitting the form, they put their address, and what items are they going to work on. When they submit that form, the information automatically goes into this spreadsheet here, which I can then sort and view and see what they're working on. What Autocrat can do is it can take the information submitted via this form and in addition to putting it into this spreadsheet, it can also put it into a document template like this. I have created this agenda template that when the user, when a teacher submits this form, it is going to automatically take this information, put it into the spreadsheet, and put it into this template. It is awesome. Let me show you how to do it. First step, first thing you need to do to use Autocrat is you need to create your template. It can look however you want it to look. It can be in letter format. It can be tables like what I have here. It can be in a Google, shop, a Google Doc or a Google Sheet. The one thing that you have to do is you just need to save space like I have done in the tables here for the information for each field. Now you can see that what I've done, I've got spot for the grade level, the date, uh, their address, the location, those types of things that correspond to each column from the spreadsheet, which corresponds to each field in the form. So the first thing, create your template. The next step is to create and insert what are called merge tags. If you have ever done a mail merge, Autocrat basically does that. It will merge the information from the spreadsheet into this document and you want to do tags. So you want to make the tags similar to the title of what each column is. So for example, grade level, I'm going to create a tag by using the little side carrots, the keys directly to the right of the letter M and I'm going to put grade level and then for the agenda on PLC agenda for PLC meeting on and if it's not exactly the same as you have it here so you can see for example I capitalize meeting and on here whereas in the sheet it's not capitalized that's gonna be okay and I'll show you why in just a second but you want it to be very close to what you have here so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the tags into my template so as you can see I have finished putting each merge tag into my template and those tags are associated location of your PLC meeting that was the title here location for your PLC meeting here I can kind of put in my table whatever I want but my tag needs to correspond to the tag to the title of each of the columns here okay once you have put all your tags in your template you want to go back to the sheet and you want to install Autocrat to do that you're going to go to the add-ons menu click add-ons and then get add-ons now you can see mine's already there because it's already installed but if you haven't installed it yet click get add-ons and then you would just search right in here a-u-t-o-c-r-a-t -A -A and when you click enter you'll see one that looks you can see it's right here and when you click on that mine says manage because it's already installed you will see a little plus sign and free click that and it will install into your Google Sheet. The nice thing about Autocrat 2 is that once it is installed, it's installed across your sheets. Doesn't mean you have to use it, but you don't have to reinstall it each time. You can just launch it. So once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and launch Autocrat. 
and I'm going to click New Merge Job. And what it's going to ask me to do is which template do I want to use? It's going to ask me to find or create the template. So you can either create it from scratch or one that you've already created in Drive. I'm going to click that since I've already created it. And then I need to just go through and find the template. So there it is, PLC Agenda Template. So I'm going to double click that. And after a couple of moments, it will go ahead and load. And I'm going to go ahead and call it PLC Agenda Merge Sample. You can call that whatever you want. Now, remember when I said that what you put as your merge tags, I remember how I didn't capitalize one of the letters when it was capitalized or not capitalized in the spreadsheet. You can see here that it does a pretty good job of sensing. So you just want to double check grade level. That corresponds with the sheet header grade level. Agenda for PLC meeting on, yes. Timestamp, timestamp. So I'm just going to make sure that all of these match up. Now, now you can see this one is incorrect. Agenda items to be worked on, that should be this one. So school address was fine, agenda submitted by. So just double check that what you put as your tag matches and then click save. And you can see it has automatically kind of created some tags here. So a couple more steps and we're gonna be done. Here's what you're gonna name your file that's created. Now for me, I want, it, I want the file name that's created to be called the grade level. So I'm gonna put this tag, I copied and pasted that, and I'm gonna call it PLC Agenda Dash, and I want it to have the date that it is submitted. So that's the timestamp tag. So I'm gonna copy Control or Command C and paste that in. So now you can see that when the Autocrat document is created, it's going to name it, and it won't say dollar side grade level. It will actually put in first, second. So if it's a third grade agenda that I submit, it will say third grade PLC agenda dash, and it won't say timestamp. It'll actually have the date submitted. And I want to go ahead and create. I'm going to choose a PDF. You could also do a P uh, doc. It's up to you. And I want to email. You don't have to do this, but I'm, for the purposes of what I want to do, I want to also email the teacher who submits the agenda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, if I scroll down here, I'm going to use that tag, your school email address. That's the address of the person submitting it. So I'm going to put that in here, and what Autocrat will do is it will automatically recognize, it won't put this, it will put their email address and send it to that person. PLC Agenda Submission, that's the title of the email they'll get. Thanks for submitting your agenda. Attached is a PDF copy. Rent. And again, you have a choice. I'm going to include the merge document. I want it to be a PDF. Once again, you can choose however you want that to be. And a couple more steps, advanced setting. Right here, I want to add where do I want that PDF that's going to be created, or if you choose a Google Doc, where do I want it to go? So I'm going to choose the folder. I'm going to put it in a folder that I've created called PLC Agendas. So I'm going to select that. Click Select. So now when it is done, it will go automatically be created and saved into my Google Drive folder, PLC Agendas, and it will be emailed to this person based on the address that they enter. And one final thing, you want to make sure that this checkbox is checked to run Autocrat when new forms are submitted. So every time they submit a form, one of these documents will be created. So I'm going to click Save. Now that took five to ten minutes to set up. You only have to do this once. Once you set up Autocrat, you don't have to do this every time. It will just work automatically. So now you can see, here's my Autocrat. And just so you know, if you ever want to, I X'd that out. If you ever want to get back, you just click Autocrat Launch. 
it will open the window back up again. You can click this and you can go in and edit any of the settings if you want to change them. So let's see how it works. So here's my form again. Let's go ahead and say, let's do a fourth grade one this time. We'll put, let's say they're gonna meet their first time on August 17th. Their location, let's say they're gonna meet in room 303 and I submit it and I'm gonna put this email address, my Gmail address for the purposes of this and I'll put three, three sample items in. So there's my agenda. This is what we're gonna work on in our PLC and I'm gonna click submit. So the teacher's submitting it. I submit it, I say, okay, thank you. It's been submitted. A copy of the agenda will be emailed to, your, to you shortly. That's what Autocrat does. So now I'm gonna go to the, my email because this is the email that I entered in the form. And voila, there it is waiting for me. I open the email. Thanks for submitting your agenda. Attached is a PDF copy from Brent. Remember, that's what I put in the Autocrat settings. And if I open this up, I can see, check this out. Automatically, fourth grade, the date for my meeting, the date I submitted it, where we're gonna meet, who submitted my address, and the agenda items. Automatically emailed to the teacher a PDF copy. And for me, if I go to my Google Drive and I go into my PLC agendas folder, I will see, there it is, the PDF copy that was automatically created of the agenda. That is Autocrat, an amazing time saver. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Visit brentcoley.com for more tutorial videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or you can find me on Twitter at Brent Coley. Thanks for watching.